so once you install it if you open a new project create a new project that point in time you can see one new section known as business intelligence after SSD is installed you will get this business intelligence there will have analysis, analysis services integration services that is SSIS and reporting services yeah. so you need to create a new report server project yeah. after it's installed it so you can have two types either report server project wizard that will use a wizard to develop the uh, report that will be easier to begin with and if you are familiar with uh, report creation in Visual Studio using SSR then you can use the report server project it won't use it won't be using a wizard you need to add the items separately so I am going ahead with the wizard first give me a name sample SSRS report open up the report wizard so this report wizard is different from the CRM report wizard so don't get confused in between these two so here it will allow me to select a data source so let's see what all the steps we need to do yeah, this is for first checks and yeah. after we install we need to create a data source this is nothing but a connection to the database then we need to write a query that is known as data set so these are the two steps that is important that you need to do before you are creating the report so now you need to give a name to the data source I will give a name as abstractor 161 that is my server name here you can see Microsoft SQL Server this is the data source type that you need to select yeah. then you need to give your connection string over here such as the connection string to the SQL Server database that connection string you need to copy paste here then you need to set your credential the username password you need to mention here for the SQL Server SQL admin and the password yeah so yeah that I was coming to that part so I cannot do it now I cannot do it here okay so the steps are very similar after I have done this connection the report creation for online or offline same so the only difference I am going to do here if I am creating a report for uh, CRM on premise or in, a, in an other ways I can say when I am creating an SQL based report I will select the type as SQL server then I will copy with this correction string over here give the credential click next okay so I cannot do that because I am going to connect with uh, CRM online so I have mentioned about one tool that is and along with SSDT, we need to install report authoring extension for fast XML report. So I have installed that one also. That why you can see that source type as dynamic serum fetch. Okay. Then you can mention your connection string to CRM online. So that is nothing but the link to your CRM organization click credential we are going to mention your credential ok so this is the only difference the type will be skill server and here the connection still be the connection to the SQL server in between fetch XML query and normal SQL server report the rest of the steps are same once we have created the data source click next if there is any error in the connection it won't go ahead from here it will show the error itself here itself that is the advantage of using uh, report wizard because if you are directly creating a report as a report project then find and uh, finding this connection error everything would be difficult it will show the error only at the end so first time try with the wizard okay it's con get connected now the things are easy now you need to design the query that is nothing but a data source so i'm going to create a fetch xml report first okay the rest of the steps are similar uh, 
things. I will, I will say sample HSML query I have here. Okay. So if you ask me how you will generate this HSML query, that is pretty simple. If you know how to write it, then you can write it. Otherwise, you can use CRM's help for it. So advanced find is very useful in that way. What you need to do is you need to generate a query using an advanced find. Then advanced find is giving you an option to download that fetch XML query. You can download it and you can use it. Let it open up. So when it open up, I will explain this query. So this is basically the envelope of the query. So the tags are very similar to XML. That's why it's known as fetch XML. You will mention the entity name. This is the entity tag. So this report is for account. Then we have the attribute names, name, account ID, address state province, address of city, account number, then you will uh, you'll do the ordering of it then the filtering there we have two condition condition on attribute created on operator owner after and value so these are the two condition we have mentioned so this query is equivalent to select name comma account id comma state preference comma city comma account number from account table order by uh, name in descending order descending where created on owner after this date and created on is owner before this date that's what this query is look for okay so how I can generate one fetch XML query I need to create a new fetch XML sorry advanced find query select the record then I need to select the fields before we are selecting the condition I need to edit the columns and select which all the columns that need to be displayed I can remove some of the columns that I don't need and I can add the columns that I need yeah, so here we've got five or six columns then I need to mention the condition here I have mentioned created on I have mentioned some date on or before on or after on or before September 7 on or after I'm just selecting some random date then you click result showing some record good then you have an option download picture somewhere to download one XML file to your system it is sick Where you get the query expression. Yeah, I'm going to select this one. Then we'll go back to Visual Studio, copy paste that query string over here. You can even use a query builder where you'll get the or you can type the queries and you can run and you can see the result. Yeah, so like that you can build their query. So you don't even need to go to uh, CRM not to see the record you can test it here itself okay so we uh, design the query then click next then we need to select the record type as tabular or matrix matrix means it will be 
row headers and column headers should be there and tabular only column headers then it will ask me to design the table so we have three stages here the page that is here in the picture you can see these are three pages so whether where I need to add this column into I can add all this to one page or I can group them or I can add it to one page all details so I'm going to use the third one account number account code value and add to details so it will come like this so I can group them if I want to group them based on anything using our code ID for example I can group them as well okay click next so it will ask me to choose the table style we have got multiple styles I'll use this one corporate click next so here will ask me to choose the deployment location so this is mainly for SSRS reporting for on-premise so if I had uh, I have a, a SQL server installed locally so it will install to that location with this so using this URL I can select it so I will click next so it will show you the summary of my report connection string the report type the layout type everything will be shown also it will display me the query I can click on preview report and also I need to mention a name sample which account report let's check some more yeah I click finish so visual studio it will preview me the report okay so it is grouped based on account name this account ID display here that's a look weird but it's okay so I can go to the design part so here I can ch uh, change everything the title I can change this is nothing but the column header I can change it to user friendly name here account ID the name I can increase the width on the code so this is the basic layout since you are using this uh, the wizard you don't need to touch the basic thing otherwise you need to do all this design by yourself number and these are the values mentioned so if you click on any of these values you see that it will show you all the values so now you need to play around here a little bit so once you have uh, used the wizard the system gave you everything you created one sample SSRS report a solution basically then you got a project with the name sample SSRS report to there you will get the shared data sources and data sets then the report this is the one you have created so you can right click on this report add more reports the re report wizard will open up again again you can create or you can create as add new item there you can add a report wizard a report for example I'm going to add report 3 yeah so it will give you a very bare report there you need to add items you can right click insert anything text box metrics anything you can add here so it will ask you to select the data source you can select the existing shared data sources then you can create the data sets the query on it then you can start running it like that you can do but here once you have used the wizard everything yeah you can see the data set that you have created using the query the data source you have created everything is here once you preview it, you can see the updated one. Okay, so you save it. Once you save it, you will get a RDL file, sample account report. That's XML.RDL. That's the RDL you created. So now we have created the report. 
and if you are once you are happy with it you need to you need to open up the project folder and get the RDL under bin debug you will have this report definition file cool so now here have generated the report the next step would be deploying that to the here save the report after that you need to deploy to CRM system so yeah, let's go back to CRM application uh, go to sales reports create new report So then in here you need to select the report type as existing file and browse the RDL file from the report project. Okay, this is the RDL file. Click open. Well, it is even pulling the name from the report. I don't want to mention that. Yeah. Okay, you just need to save it then you have the option to run it just like you are running the normal report wizard report you can run it so this now this part of your CRM system it is even got the URL yeah, you can see the name over here so like that you create report using SSRS